For almost a century, Budweiser has used Clydesdales to represent traditional American values. We see them in parades, in television commercials, and most famously, at the Super Bowl. But Budweiser is keeping an ugly secret. Before the beautiful horses are hitched to the beer wagon, when they're still just foals, their tails are mutilated. A new PETA investigation reveals that the Clydesdale's naturally long tails are amputated just to give them a certain appearance. Some or all of the tail is removed, either with a scalpel or with a tight band that cuts off the blood flow, causing the tail to die off. Budweiser representatives mislead the public about mutilating horses, claiming that the tails are just trimmed, giving the impression that just the hair of the tail is cut. They're not naturally sharp, we trim them. Do they like soft the tails? No, we just trim them deeply. They still have their tails. They still have to trim the hair. Oh, so they're like the full tails still? Mm -hmm. They're just tied up? Yep. But PETA found Budweiser Clydesdale handlers who talked. They don't talk. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure when Budweiser does it, but it's typically when they're pretty young. They are cut uh, early on, I know that. Because they would go all the way to the ground. The tail is part of the spine, and maiming it interferes with a horse's balance. Horses with amputated tails can't defend themselves against biting insects. Even their communication with other horses is hindered. Veterinary experts say that horses whose tails have been amputated endure lifelong pain. Tail amputation is so painful and cruel that it's illegal in 10 states and numerous countries. It's condemned by the American Veterinary Medical Association and the American Association of Equine Practitioners, except when medically necessary. Tell Budweiser to start representing real American values and stop amputating Clydesdale's tails.